Welcome back everybody to another episode of Mighty Number no. 9 and we're going to proceed ahead into call stage just because I want a little break away from Beck and see what she's all about with her particular playstyle. And yeah, Dr. Sanda is not really keen on entering this prison. Probably feels like he's in enough trouble enough as it is. The hold of geniuses? Like, okay, you don't know how to use grammar there, Dr. Sanda. Someone missed a spell check. <laughs> so, we'll see how different this level is from Bex. This, this level was rather interesting. It's a lot less involved than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot more about sneaking around and stuff, and don't get me wrong, it is. It's just, it's a little more action-oriented than I thought Call's level would be. So, some key things to note about her playstyle, the little arch, archery bow thing she has, she can only have one projectile on screen at a time. So, she's not very combat-oriented in that sense, but just keep that in mind that there's one... Uh, one projectile on screen. Just because it hits an enemy doesn't mean you can't shoot another. Oh gosh, you can't shoot another one right away. So if a shot hits an enemy, you can immediately shoot another one off on screen. So the closer you are to an enemy, the more shots you can pelt off. If that made any sense. And of course, she has the multi dashes like Beck, which is always nice. Oh yeah, Patch here. Apparently, you can refill her chargeable shield. Which I haven't had to use other than outside the boss, which I've only been to once, by the way, because of a bullcrap section towards the end. Gosh, this one section at the end of this level is really terrible. But outside that, this is a fairly easy level. But yeah, this recharges her shield, which I haven't found much use for at this time. I find it now, in the heat of this intense secret operation, she's now just questioning her role and pretty much the existence of her life at this point. Like, why was I created? Why can I do these things? Why can't I do these things? And for the most part, this these whole key card searching areas is really easy to navigate. Sprinter! And apparently I did that very fast. Amazing! I'm amazing for some reason. I don't even know why some of these certain, uh, I guess you could say, achievements are given to me. I don't really understand. And how the heck did Dr. Santa get here already? And did he take the easy way? He sent Call the hard way and he took the easy way in the background right there? He just rolled in on that, the hallway? Okay, as far as I can tell, these bomb enemies I have not been able to destroy with Call's arrow. So I don't know how you destroy them, but after a while, they just, as you can see, they get their fuses lit and they just explode on their own, so whatever. And you got these little annoying enemies. As I said, as long as you get close to them, let them come to you so you can get in a lot of shots. Push this guy back. Yeah, those guys don't come down to your level until they're close to you. Here's where it gets a little tricky. This guy, you just duck. Oh, no, 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 that's that's not what you do. You duck, jump, and fire. Oh, there you go. Oh, gosh. Get on the far left. Kill, the, kill these two guys fast before the other guy spin, uh, throws his spinning blade. I actually died on this guy, I think. Oh, wow, quick clear. My first time, because I didn't know how to beat those guys. I, I didn't quite get the concept that you needed to fire on their eyes until the second time around. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's because you're a cold-blooded killer, Cole. That's why. You were destined to be an assassin. That's her, that's her true purpose. She was meant to do blood, uh, <laughs> bloodthirsty assassin missions. They dis disabled her emotional protocol, so because she was going to go wildly out of control. 
あとはやってみてのお楽しみさ<笑> No, Abby gives you kind of a little hint on how to beat the boss of this level. Yay, thank you, Patch. Not that I needed you. Now we get into a rather tricky part of the stage. Okay, shoot the bottom barrel, not the top, because the top one has a bomb. Let's see if I can do this right now. There's our key. Okay. No! Gosh darn it. No! No, 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 no. Okay, let's get rid of you. Gosh, I, I performed so terrible on that. Okay, here's the part that really is okay. You gotta use her jet, but you also gotta dash in midair, too. Oh. Whew! Okay! <laughs> I have to say, that was probably the. That, yeah, that was the second time I've actually made it through that area. So, yeah, overall, a short level. And a lot less sneaking around than I thought it was going to be. But here's the boss. The only reason I died the, the, with my one outtake with this guy is because I came in with very little health. I didn't have enough health to kind of take a few hits. But overall, he's fairly easy. So he'll just jump over and stuff, just shoot his little eye, and he'll become blind. See, he jumps into the wall and smacks his face and he falls down. It's kind of funny. And then he does this erratic movement. You can block it with the shield. Yep. Then he summons a carrier drone box. You want to get it as close to him as possible. Because whatever's in the box, he'll come at you and eat. If it's a bomb, it'll blow up in his mouth like a Dodongo. And it'll do a huge chunk of damage. Like, two to three to four of these bombs should do it. Yeah, so he just repeats. This is a fairly easy boss battle, but given the capabilities of Call, it makes sense. Oh gosh. I thought this would be something awesome too, but nope. What this does is it gives his sight back. It's a security drone. Of course it would give his sight back. On the bright side, when he has a sight, when he does his little mouth gun, he actually aims at you. Which is actually easier to dodge than him just firing all over the place. I find this harder to dodge than when he was aiming at you running out of shield power. Okay, get it close to him so he eats it right away. Mm, one more bomb and he's done. So he'll jump twice, smack the wall. Then he'll do some firing and then summon another box. That's all there is to this boss. Very, very easy. And I ran out of shield energy. I can no longer dodge that shot attack. I mean, I guess you could jump up through the, the hail of bullet fire, but that's really tight timing. Oh gosh, he's gonna get his vision back. Yep, he's happy, he's got his vision. Thankfully, it takes about five hits and he loses his sight again. Then he goes back to the other pattern. Yep, I have nothing to avoid this. Oh, I could have done it! Okay, if this is a bomb, he's done for. He's a he's done deal. Woo! You're done, doggy! And that's how you do it. Call's level is really not that hard. It's just that one small hovering section towards the end with instant death that... As you'll see in the outtakes, has got me a lot of trouble, a lot of headaches. Mission. Because, you know, as you know, I have to record all the story scenes. Just in case it happened to be the one take that I beat the level and make it through on one try, right? So I had to watch these story scenes over... Ooh, I got an S on this one, too. Like, I guess that wasn't hard, given its calls level. I mean, you couldn't get any combos or Zell Absorbity. But yeah, I had to record all these these uh, cutscenes over and over again.
kind of annoying, this level. I mean, if I played it on its own, it'd be kind of manageable, but... I'm doing a challenge, and... Wow, Patch! I guess it makes sense Dr. Sand and call her in the prison at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's only challenge co-op. I thought it'd be a new tip or something. But alright, it looks like all the patches are taking care of all the functions for us in the menu. Okay, we don't have Dr. Sanda's second mission, so... Looks like all we can do now is the Robot Factory, so we'll tackle that in the next video. Overall, I liked playing as Call, but I'm glad they limited her stages to only uh, maybe one or two. I don't know how many more we have with her. So until the next video, see y'all later. This particular outtake in the enemy spawn room was only here because I got here with such little health and I was still trying to figure out some of these new enemies and how to combat them. But the rest of the outtakes kind of occurred here in this insta-death final section that you're trying to hover through. I mean, a lot of times there is not a lot of room for error. If you just dash just a little bit too far or you forget to dash and you hover down too slowly, you're gonna get hit by either the bottom floor spikes or the top floor spikes. And there are no invincible and vulnerability frames, so if you get hit by those enemies there, but then fall down in the bottom thinking you can kind of tank the hits because you have invul frames, no, this is MM1 physics and you're still gonna die. Overall, this level was really awful in that one section. Then I had one outtake against the boss and that was just me not dodging the block fast enough.